Hello guys, in this video I will test out the Composer 1 model, the new model from Cursor, which is free to try for a limited time. They claim it to be four times faster than other highly intelligent models. Which models they mean, I don't really know, but I will test it on a real project against two other fast models. So I will run three different prompts asking the question, the second test will be a small code change, the third one will be a bigger code change, and we will test against other two models which claim to be similar, Haiku 4.5 from Claude from Anthropic and Grok Code Fast 1. And with that I will also show the new Cursor 2 multiple agents mode, where you can run the same prompt against, as you can see, multiple models. So how does that work? And we will also compare the pricing of those prompts and of course the code quality. And kind of a teaser, one of those three models will be a clear winner in this test. The project itself is pretty simple Laravel 12 demo project with dashboard and credits to spend with billing. This is one of my demo projects for Laravel daily channel, but the project doesn't matter that much in this case. The goal is have existing project and prompt something against three models focusing on Composer 1. Let's see how it performs. So to test the Composer 1 model against other models, we switch in Cursor 2 to Agents mode, and here we may prompt with choosing the models, including multiple models for the same prompt. And our first prompt is the question to analyze the code base and provide some answer about whether some feature is implemented or not, and where exactly. And when choosing the models, we can choose Composer, but also we can use multiple models and choose more models, which I have done already, so it automatically suggests three models as in my last test behind the scenes, which is exactly the three so-called fast models that I want to test against each other. Now I will hit send and we will compare the time, the quality of the answer, and then the price. As you can see, all three models are running, so loading, 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 and Composer 1, you will see how blazing fast it is, so I'm not making any pauses, and yeah, the result is already here. 12 seconds, while well, Haiku is going through that, and Grok Code is also completed. Good, so Grok Code is on par with Composer 1, and Haiku is a bit slower with 20 seconds or so for the answer. Is the answer accurate? The answer should have been that the feature is implemented in a few places, like in the service. So Composer 1 correctly says that fallback math. So yeah, it seems correct. With Haiku, it gets deeper into database structure, but yep, roughly the same thing, or actually not. It doesn't mention the webhook of Stripe, which is mentioned in Composer 1 correctly. So this is the handle invoice payment succeeded, which is not mentioned by Haiku, so I don't count Haiku as correct answer. And for Grok code, scheduling, credit limits, reset commands, and yeah, it didn't also mention the Stripe webhook, so it's partially correct only. So Composer 1 is faster, and in this case, even more accurate. But this was just a simple test for a quick answer. Now, can it generate the code or change the code, and how fast? So we close this one with Command W on my MacBook Pro, and then the second prompt is this. Judging from the first prompt result, I noticed that credits reset at is not set during the registration. So let's see how all three models, same choice, would perform. And also I will show you how to choose which model result you like best and how to apply it to the actual code. So let's hit send, and again, all three models are starting, and Composer 1 should be the quickest. Actually, Grok Code thought, and Composer 1, changes made, done. 12 seconds. Grok Code is working. I emphasize the speed because this is the primary thing with Composer 1. Grok Code is doing Composer install, PHP Artisan test. And by the way, I enabled the automatic commands here to run, so it's running tests and running some something else, so two out of three done. Haiku, perfect. For Cloud Code is always perfect, so yeah, done. In 49 seconds with Grok Code, fast. And then Haiku is doing now running tests, three failed tests. Also, as you can see, it's doing stuff in cursor work trees. So all that code is not applied yet to the specific, uh, to the live mode code. So two out of three tests passed. 
no test found so it's kind of running around in circles perfect both tests pass now okay test result complete a minute and 21 seconds so much slower now how do we view the changes here for example you can click review and this is by the way another new thing in the recent cursor versions i'm not sure if it's 2.0 or maybe it was even earlier a better way to review the changes without jumping file by file you can do that just here click two files and then you see both here so we can see that variable is added exactly as i expected and then new test added as well and then here you can apply all which would actually put the code from that so-called work tree inside of cursor internal hidden subfolder to your actual code base but i will not do that specifically here because i want to compare those then if we go to two files by grok code same change applied here and then new test so also same result as haiku but much faster and with composer one we see two files so same change in the registration controller and in tests it added test inside of the existing method of registration instead of creating a new method which may be smart but all in all in terms of code quality i'm happy with all three but composer is way faster and the final prompt will be to generate a bit bigger piece of code so i want to generate menu item usage history from database table to show the amount of credits used in this project so below the sources i want to have a menu item which would represent this database table of credit transactions similar to the cursor dashboard so how much was spent on which transaction and we will look at cursor dashboard in a minute after we've done the prompting here so how many credits or tokens were actually spent and let's see how all three models again i choose multiple models and those three let's see how those models would perform with the code generation again three tabs composer one is started already haiku is still planning and grok code is still planning while composer one is really fast already generating the code and those two models are still thinking so this is again another kind of proof that composer one is blazing fast in comparison with other models or maybe it's the thing that those models are having issues I'm still waiting for anything from them. And Composer 1, 5 out of 5 to-dos completed, planning next moves. Uh, okay, so other models haven't even started yet. Or maybe it's a cursor bug, I'm not sure. But, yep, Composer 1 is finished within 50 seconds. And let's wait for like 30 more seconds whether those would even start. So yeah, I've waited for almost a minute now and nothing happened, which actually happened to me while testing this feature. Sometimes some models don't even start. Maybe it's a bug in cursor, or if you are into conspiracy theories, maybe it's intentionally to promote Composer 1. I'm not sure, but those models didn't even start working. So I can stop the implementation and stop the implementation here. Task canceled, so we cannot really compare those. But let's try to reprompt actually. But I will do it a bit later after reviewing the changes by Composer 1. So we have the new route, which is great. It looks great. New menu item. So it figured out where to put it. We have factory. I didn't specifically ask for that, but probably it's for testing. We have the model that has factory. Great. So we have a few tests tests what else then we probably should have the controller itself yep controller looks good with filtering query where so then we have clone base query for total and for pagination probably okay there are other ways to achieve the same thing but i'm fine with that and then the index table let's try to apply that and see if it actually works so I click apply all and then I will run the automated tests. So if I run PHP artisan test here, will it succeed? Pass, pass, pass. All tests passing. Great. Now do we have new menu item here? We refresh the page. Usage history. No transactions found because there are no transactions found for this specific user. If I change the user ID to my newly registered user, user ID 3, yep, the transaction is in the table. So it all seems to be working well. Now let's undo those changes and let's try to launch Haiku and Grok code. So I undid change and let's try the same prompt but with other two models. So multiple models except for Composer 1 and let's see 
how they perform, how fast, and maybe it will work this time. We start planning next move. Oh, this time it works for both models. I'm not sure again if it's because we don't use Composer 1 in this case. But it happens even without actually Composer 1 in the past. I do remember that, so Grok code is faster with to-dos. Haiku is still reading and planning. Now I have to-do list for Haiku model, Grok code. Okay, two out of five. So Haiku list is a bit longer. Six items instead of five for Grok code. Uh, okay. And I'll probably skip to the end to just see the results of how fast it was and how accurate. So yeah, Grok code is finished in roughly 50 seconds and Haiku 4.5 is still thinking and it is significantly slower. But I will leave it running and will report on the actual time when it ends. Or here we go again. After a minute of planning next moves, it doesn't do anything. It just keeps spinning. So yeah, apparently this thing may happen even during in the middle of the prompt, especially if you're working on multiple things, multiple files at the same time for a longer prompt. So yeah, I'm just forced to announce that Haiku didn't even pass that test. Probably it's the problem on Anthropic and on Cloud Code and on Cloud Haiku and so I guess it's not a cursor error, but I'm not entirely sure. Maybe we can discuss in the comments below, but I will stop this for now. And now let's take a look at the result by Grok code for new files. We can review them. So new link on the sidebar, then new controller with query. Yep, this was the alternative. This is, by the way, a good example. Which syntax do you prefer? So Composer 1 did it with cloning the query. In this case, we have one query object. So this is how you can apply all, for example, for one model that you choose. Then in the route we have new route and then in the blade we have new page. So it also works. The only difference is that Grok code didn't generate automated tests, which Composer 1 did. So even with this prompt, Composer 1 is faster and better code, I guess. Now let's take a look at the pricing for all of those. So here I am on my cursor dashboard and I'm using $20 per month plan. And these are the prices for those prompts. So the first prompt was with a simple question and currently Composer 1 costs zero, which is in free mode for now. I'm not sure how long it lasts, so we cannot compare the prices, but we can compare the tokens. So if you compare those three, Composer 1 has the least amount of tokens used. And then Grok Code Fast 1 is roughly the same amount of tokens as Haiku, but Haiku is seven times more expensive. So this is one test, then another test to generate the small amount of code. Composer 1 used much fewer tokens, 200k versus Grok Code and Claude Haiku. And between Grok Code and Claude Haiku, look at the difference of prices of the actual usage deducted from my cursor account. And then this is the third test with Composer 1. It was successful right away. Those were relaunched, but roughly same amount of tokens. The difference in tokens is not that significant, but Haiku model, even though it didn't finish the actual task, that prompt cost me 16 cents, which is in comparison, staggeringly bigger price. So all in all, the conclusion is I'm very impressed with Composer 1. It's faster than generally fast models with producing the same or better results. Great, great job by Cursor team. The only question remains what would be the actual price when it comes out of free testing mode. We will compare then and I will update you on the pricing as I always do in my free newsletter, which I send every Wednesday. So this is the homepage where you can read all the issues from last week's. This is the last issue sent this Wednesday. So if you want to receive something like that with community links and my own comments on top, subscribe to that. The link will be in the description below. What do you think about Composer 1, multiple agent mode and Cursor 2.0 in general if you have tried it already? Let's discuss all of that in the comments below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.